Hello, this is the Asian Hospital and Medical Center, Asian Brain Institute, stands for Parkinson's Spark and Move video. There is no right or wrong, but just have fun and spark your heart out with all your moves. For the first six exercises, we will do them seated. After that, we move to supported standing and then standing on your own. However, there are valid seated variations that can bring out your creative juices, like transposing movements that can be done on your legs while standing to movements done with arms or your chest or the head. This first exercise is a way to awaken your body's awareness through breath, joint range, spine articulations, divisions of the body right and left, lower and upper, proximal and distal, rotation and circling around. So we'll start this uh, seated, this part. So make sure you sit a little bit forward. So to have a nice part, you have to sit a little bit forward. Yeah, beautiful. You see how you have all grown an inch and now. So very important to feel the floor with your feet. Feel your big toe, little toe and heel. It's like a little tripod, yeah? And that gives stability. And push down, you might feel, push down the floor with your feet so you feel the energy. That's, that's the energy you want, yeah? So that you'll always feel that. And then you pull in your belly, even after you ate breakfast, yeah? And you stand up tall, so, and imagine you have Spock, I don't know if you watch Star Trek, Spock ears, you want know, like they're sending it up there in outer space and you send it tall, you see? Ah, you're so much taller now, wonderful. And of course, we can't stay like this, holding our breath. We have to stay like this way while breathing. So you inhale and as you exhale, still send those Spock ears up to outer space. Beautiful. And again, inhale and exhale. Nice, that's the breath. You inhale with your lungs and then exhale. You push out all the air, standing tall, sitting tall. Yes, again, inhale and then exhale. Lovely. Then we're going to think about getting big, stretching big. Yeah, as make your body as big as possible and then make your body as small as possible. This is just to like it's it's a way of waking up your whole body before we really start dancing big 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 and then small 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 yeah distal and then proximal good then part of our body is our spine right it's as long as it has like 32 vertebrae and we try to just move forward and back to your neck, gently wake up, like saying, yes, I know, yes. Or and then we also rotate right and left. And it doesn't matter if it's right, left, or left, and right, that's okay. And then your spine will just make a letter C, and then pushing out, and then letter C, and pushing your ribs out like bad posture like right? this is bad posture and then this is also bad posture it's a reverse of bad posture and then you're gonna kind of tilt like as if you're making that like a half moon with your spine it doesn't have to be big just so that you're aware of all the movement that you can do with your spine it's not a it's not a solid piece of your body yeah it has very articulate yeah and then we'll think of things that are upper body and upper body and lower body yeah so we have the lower body which are our legs our feet knees ankles hips and also yeah hips pelvis that's your lower part of your body then we have the upper body which is this way arms you have your neck you have your face smile big mm. Yeah, that's part of your body, right? And we'll do a lot of that today, so don't worry. I'm not, there are no mirrors, which is great. And then there you have the shoulders, right? Yeah, and the elbows, yeah, this is, yeah. So that's part of your upper body. Then there's also another way of looking at your body. There's the right, the side, lateral side. So do you only move one side, yeah? 
what can you do? Yeah, you can stretch out this way. It's like a book, right? It's a book. You open a book. You close the book. Yeah, it's one side. There's also the, and then the other side. Yeah, there's left and right. It's my left or your right or my right and your left. Doesn't matter. Just as long as you're aware that you're moving one side of the body. Then the other part is the crossing. We're crossing our body. We're crossing our feet. Yeah, anything that crosses, yeah? Because what we are doing, we're crossing wires, right, in our brain? <laughs> crossing, crossing, crossing. We're not doing the macarena. But just so that you're aware that this is what your body can do, right? It crosses, crosses, crosses. And then the next part is it rotates, right? When you say somebody's calling you, what? What do you want? Somebody's calling you behind, what do you want? Somebody is, so you're going to, or you're going to look at the bubble gum on, that you got just sat on, yeah? That, yeah? And then when you're standing, you'll be like rotating and rolling around. So you can roll around your neck. Yeah, so you should be awake by now, yeah? And then we'll just, Rub it in. Warm it up, warm it up. We don't need much warming because we're already warmed up. And just put it over your eyes. And again. <laughs> and then feel that warmth. Keep your eyes closed. You don't have to see anything. My eyes are closed. I can't see you. And then just slowly let go of your hands. You can keep your eyes closed if you want to. And just being aware about eyes being closed. And then slowly opening and your eyes open. And then leave you wide open. Just look. Look at other people. Or really look focused. Look at, at others. Yeah? So you know who you're pretty. Yes. Yeah? The eye contact is very important. Yeah? Yes? Okay. And then what we're going to do is just pat yourself awake. I know you've been awake for a long time, but... Yeah. Pat, 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 pat. And then little pats, little gentle pats. Gentle pats, my lungs. Gentle pats. Yeah, and then just... Just getting all that energy. Okay. Are you awake now? Yes? Okay. So that was just like... There's a, a, a part of brain dance uh, um, that, uh, that I do to kind of wake up your body, right, before really starting. So let's see. Our next exercise is a modified sun salutation, using your upper body to move fluidly and musically. You're going to go up, scoop up the air, press your hands down, bring it to your heart, and then we're going to dive up and then float back down. Beautiful. Again, scoop out and in, and then dive down. Some of you are familiar with this. When you're down there, we are going to just reach out, reach to the ceiling, and then curl back in. Again, it's like sliding your hands up and then sliding hands down. And then we're going to Take that sweater off, very standard. And then we're going to just curl and circle your hand around. Okay, so that's part one, yeah? Um, <laughs> and then the next one will be, um, we'll be, we'll be doing um, in, so like hugging yourself, brushing, table, look and stand tall, and then let go, and then out, okay? So there's a lot of that move here again. You'll hug yourself one side, sweep the table away, look as we hold, this is great that you have this chair, push up as you gently twist and look behind you, and then out and then brush it off, all right? Then we're going to do again curl in, and then 
one, sorry, one side only, curl in, stretch the other side from foot to heat, from foot to finger, yeah, so you're aware of that, and then here, and then this time, you can really relax and yawn. Oh, I want to hear that. Don't be shy. Let's try that again. Oh, yes, beautiful. So we're going to put that with music. Ah, scoop. In. And dive up. And float. And scoop. And dive down gently, slowly, slowly down and swipe. Reach and curl in. Other side and and in and and take the sweater off. And, and out, swipe the table, hold on to the chair, twist, look behind you and out, and, and, and down, other side, hug yourself. Swipe and sit up tall, twist and gather and curl in, stretch and curl in and stretch one side, finger to toe and curl in and now you're. Oh, again, curl in and yawn. Oh, and then sit up tall, sit up tall, and start all over the first part and and in and dive up, float and scoot and now imagine deep ocean you're diving down 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 and reach up curl in and reach on the other side and in and easy a big hug stretch Give yourself a hand. That was beautiful. We will now have a vocalization exercise by using vowels and easy sound effects to create imaginary scenes, expressive reactions, and playing with sounds. Um, this, is, uh, this is all about uh, different kinds of uh, vocalization. A, E, E, O, U, right? That's uh, the uh, vowels. So let's go. Ah, like ah, like when you talk to people, like ah, like ah, ah. Put some expression. Ah, yeah, you know, you know what that meant when somebody like ah, and then a, 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 you know that, you know, you know that face. A, a. Sounds good. That sounds good. Now, e, 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 my facial is good. E, e, yeah, exaggerates. Okay, e, and then the other one is, oh, oh, ah, oh.
Okay, so we're going to work on that. Okay. Then the next part, so I'm glad I did that. So it's, you see how sometimes you have to come up with some imagery, and it, my imagery may be different from each one of yours, but as long as you put that emotional and that facial expression, that's part of it, yeah? So, um, so we have another one is like, you can do, ah, ah, mmm, 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 mmm. Of course, we're not supposed to eat their mouth open, but mmm, mmm. There's no spitting, but <laughs> and then so like oh if you see I'm so oh 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 oh, oh. So make sure you follow that, whatever that is, yeah. Yeah, catch it when you can. Yeah, you catch them? Good. <laughs> um, so let's try that again, yeah, yeah, and, and we don't need music. Usually the musician would, oh, let's see. Let's see if we can find like a neutral uh, musical background. But there's no rhythm. It's more I want you to think of um, the sounds, yeah? Let's see. Uh, put something just... Uh so. Oh. Oh, 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 eh, 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 Next one is oh oh oh
Okay. Nice, nice. Very nice. Um, so that's one way of also playing with vocalization, yeah? And so that we always keep using your whole voice um, and facial expression. For the next exercise, we will use the upper body with a sequence of different sharper, dynamic, and small motor skills. We will imagine that we are preparing a hamburger and you will come up with ingredients you want to add to your hamburger and create your own movements for each of those ingredients to spark your appetite. Next thing, um, I'm at culinary school now, so I, um, last time who was in class we did a Waldorf salad, but uh, another favorite of mine is the hamburger. So we're gonna make hamburgers today. And so, but instead, I, I don't know if you were here last time, we did one going this way. We, we were using this um, horizontal plane, but this time we're gonna do this vertical plane. So we're gonna have um, the bun, the bun, the bun, the bun. Then we have the hamburger, the hamburger, the hamburger, and the hamburger. Then I think I place a tomato, a tomato, tomato, tomato. Then I have the lettuce, the lettuce, the lettuce, and the lettuce. Then what did I put? Onions. I think, oh, I wanted to put an onion ring, onion ring, onion ring, onion ring. And then we have ketchup, ketchup, squeeze the ketchup, squeeze the ketchup. Then you put mayo, on that, you know? mayo, spread the mayo, spread the mayo. And then we put the bun, the top bun, top bun, top bun. So that, no? Uh, so, and then after that, we'll see with the music. And we're going to eat it, and we'll start all over again. All right? Yeah? And then we'll, you can help me put whatever ingredients you want. Okay. Hamburger, back. hamburger, and tomato, tomato slice, tomato slice, and lettuce leaf, lettuce, lettuce leaf, lettuce leaf, and onion, onion ring, onion ring, onion ring, squeeze the ketchup, squeeze the ketchup, squeeze the ketchup, and mayo, spread the mayo, spread the mayo, spread the mayo, bun, bun, bun. And let's eat it. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Let's make another one and hamburger. Or salmon burger and tomato. 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 And lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. And, oh, that was an open face hamburger, the last one. Uh, let's try that again. Let's do it twice through. And then the next time we'll add, we'll ask different people to add whatever they like in their hamburger, okay? So we'll do, we won't eat it. We'll just do two hamburgers, yeah? Ready? And hamburger bun, 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 and hamburger. Hamburger well done, medium and rare. And tomato, 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 and lettuce, 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 lettuce. Onion ring, fried, battered, and squeeze the ketchup, squeeze the mustard, whatever you want, and mayo, mayo. Mail, mail, and bun, 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 again, and make sure it's one on top of the other. And tomato, 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 and, and onion ring, onion ring, onion ring, onion ring, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 and mail, 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 and bun, bun, bun. Oh. 
We can, we can end with a burp. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a fun thing that we can do. Um, uh, we'll start with a ham, okay. Uh, we'll start with a hamburger. Uh, and then, now, why don't you come up with a topping of hamburger? Topping. Topping and then cheese. Uh, what kind of movement do you want to do with cheese? Okay, so that, okay, so after we put all the bun, this is cheese, 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 cheese. Okay, another topping. What do you like? To you? <laughs> huh? Pickles. So show me your movement for pickles. There's no right or wrong. This is a part. Okay, pickles, 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 pickles. Anything, another topping? Right. Oh, that's like, who said that? That's a good one. <laughs> Show me a movement for French fries. <coughs> okay. Nice, nice. See where we're getting? So let's start all over again. Let's see. We have the bun. This is a normal bun. We have the hamburger. And then we have the cheese. Now, don't forget your, your ingredients, right? because I can't keep up. And then who put the pickle, no? Pickle and then French fries. How many more do we need? One, two, three, four. Okay, one more. Ma mustard, uh, mustard, mustard. Ma okay, what what would be the mustard be? Come up with any. <laughs> oh, and now squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so we'll do that. Ta 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 ta. Squeeze. Let's squeeze it. Uh, how is a mustard bottle? Um, oh, let's do a squeeze now. You know, like you're trying to get all the last patak <coughs> of mustard, okay? And then we'll have the top of the bun. And we'll see how much music there's left. We can eat or munch or put more layers. Let's see. Well, it could be a double. A double hamburger after the mustard. We could have another burger. Let's see how much music we have left. Okay, let's try this all together. Remember, cheese, pickles. Fries, mustard. mustard. Woo okay. You see where is this going? With memory. And bun. This you have to help me out. Huh? Hamburger. And cheese. <coughs> pickle, 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 and French fry. Squeeze the mustard, squeeze the mustard, squeeze mustard. Another hamburger. <laughs> bun, bun. Try again. And bun, 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 bun. And hamburger, 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 hamburger. And cheese, 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 cheese. And pickle, pickle, pickle. Pickle and french fries. Mustard, 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 and another big patty. And bun, bun, burp. Okay, awesome. Okay, now I'm hungry for a hamburger. Um, <laughs> um, so uh, we did a lot of these things with our upper body and we have used our voices, and we have used a lot of our creativity. There's no right or wrong, that's perfect. We will now perform an exercise for foot articulation, which will be reinforced when we perform the same exercise while standing up. We are going to do some um, uh, warm up for our feet, yeah? So again, make sure you don't forget to, that we are, don't want to start slouching and relaxing and falling asleep. But we have to stand tall, right? Spock ears. Spock ears to outer space, yeah? And push down the your, 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 your feet. Make sure that you can see them. If it's too much in here, you can't see, you can't move them. But if they are out here, you can actually see your feet. Awesome, yeah? So what we're going to do, and this is something we'll be doing when standing, is toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, 
heel, toe, heel. Then the other foot, so it doesn't matter which leg you start first, as long as you do the other side. Then we reverse it. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Can you all see me? Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Everybody good? So it's very important to, 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 to understand that articulation. Then we're going to alternate. Down. Right. Da, da, then heel, toe, heel, toe, as if we are walking. Yeah? All right? And then we're going to stretch our leg out and bring it in. Stretch our leg, the other leg, and in, and then we're going to kick, 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 and kick. Very good kicking. Very nice. And I think that's it for now because I I, I want to do other things. Uh, we'll be we'll be marching. Heel, toe. That's all. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Other leg and toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, and heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. So other side, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. So now alternate, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel, toe, and stretch, and bring, and stretch, stretch, and kick, kick. Oh, this is a short one. Nice. Okay, we'll do that again. Now, for some imagery, the toe heel is as if, I don't know how many of you smoke a cigarette, but you pretend that you have smoked, smoking cigarette, and you're squishing that okay mm. squish that cigarette off a cigarette butt here mm. okay and then for the heel it's like you're stepping in the gas if you if you have driven a car like vroom, like you have to have that heel down and push that gas down heel push that gas pedal down okay so that's the difference yeah smoking or, or driving a car ready Squish, squish, squish. Yes, better. Other side. Squish the foot. And drive that that Maserati. Vroom, vroom. Nice. And good. Alternate toe. Other leg toe. Squish the bug. Squish the other bug. Now drive, drive, drive. Now stretch that leg nice and try to touch, touch me, touch me. Good. And then stretch, try to touch me, try to touch me, try to touch me. Kick, kick. Beautiful. Yeah, they're much clearer. We will now have a change of pace with this next exercise as we will do some marching and clapping, complete with some math and fun with rhythm and coordination. We can even try reversing it too. Start with one, two, four, and eight. Let's just, just a quick, quick um, marching. I got it, okay. So we are gonna do the eight, four, three, two, one. You see, we also do math in here. Um, <laughs> so we have, we gotta, we're gonna march one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clap one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, one. Ah! <laughs> okay? <laughs> so we have eight marching, four clapping. We're going to have two, but we have two to give you a break. And then we have one. One. Does that make sense? One. One. 
One, two, one. Again. One, two. For the beginning. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, one, one. Okay, let's try it again. I think we actually have more time. We will have more time. So let's start that. Let, let's revise that one. And we'll do it very simply. Eight. And then eight. Four. Four. Three, two, one. Two. Two. One. One until the end of the phrase but i think that should that should work out better yeah so we have enough time so that that's a more advanced like it's okay we will we'll get there when we start yes yes yeah you do not turn. so it's all about first the feet eight eight clapping four marches four clapping two two one one so always divided by two huh <laughs> a little bit of math we have to have a bit of math here my dad is a mathematician so <laughs> so let's see let's try this okay it's a bit fast but give yourself like really a marching in the band this is from chitty chitty bang bang yeah and one five six seven eight one two and four Four, two, two, one. Again, perfect. One. Use your arms and one. One. Four. One, two, one, two, one, one. Okay? We also get to do some repertory dances as part of our dance exercise. These dances are well known in Hawaii, where I'm based. For this segment, we will learn a hula known as hukilau. Okay, so this is a fun one. This is the dance we're gonna do is the hukilau, which is uh, a, a cute Hawaiian mele song uh that uh, most tourists get to learn so maybe if you visited hawaii you may have learned this already yeah um so uh, a huki la a huki is a is a is a net yeah uh then that's how uh, they would fish and um so it's all about coming to fit get some fish for the for and eat together Okay, so what is what's uh, what's nice about it is, is about um, Hawaiian hula um, is that if you tell a story with your upper body and then the rhythm is on your legs. That's the hardest part to coordinate it, yeah? So the basic movement for hula is the kaholo, which is a very simple step together step no it's step together step together step together step together yeah so even though you just make sure that you're on that rhythm step together step mm. step together step step together step it's a step together tap sorry so it's a step together step tap step together tap right remember that thing that we did with our just the toe heel it comes very useful now, yeah? So we know that we don't put the full whole foot, but we just tap with the toe. So first thing, so when the music comes, 
We'll just slip sway. We'll just do ka'o. Ka'o is a uh, means to sway from one side hip. So this is actually good to articulate hip. Yeah. Ka'o. Yeah. When the music goes. Then we, so we are going. We are going. So if you don't want to move your legs, I had moved just so that I'm in the right rhythm, but you can, we are going to the hukila. So we are hooking the fish, yeah? Hmm. Hooky, 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 hookila. Yeah? Can we just try that part? To make sure that we are in the right, to put ourselves in mood instead of learning the whole song and then we get lost in it, yeah? Uh, let's, let's, so, it's a, it's a really fun one, so. Ready? We're going to the hookila. Hooky, 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 la. Yes. Everybody. Okay. So the song goes, everybody loves the hooky lao, where the lao lao cow cow. So that means that it's the lao lao is a, a Hawaiian food. That's it's a, I think it's gabi leaves. Yeah. That's covered. That it's um, and inside is pork and rice and all stuff, and it gets steamed. Uh, it look, it's like pinangat, yeah, but without the coconut milk. Pinangat is better. <laughs> um, and so you eat in a big luau, yeah? All right, so let's see if I remember this. So we're going, hokilau, hokilau, hokilau. Everybody <coughs> loves a hokilau, where the lau lau is the cow cow at the big luau. Hey, yes, D don't worry about the legs. If you feel like moving it, that's fine. If not, um, I want you to just be more expressive and just enjoy the, the dance, yeah? So the next part, well, I'll keep pushing this because it's fun. We'll throw, we will throw our nets, yeah, like throwing our nets, into the sea where the ama ama, ama ama is a, is a, is a fish, so ama ama comes swimming to me, okay? Uh, right, I hope I hope. <laughs> uh, we are, um, Throwing the nets into the sea. So there's like the waves in the sea. And then we have, we kind of put the, our hands together. The fish comes swimming to me. Yeah? We'll try that. Yes? Uh, let's try it from the beginning. And I think that's, and then, that's, and then we have one more verse, and then that should be. Anyone smile in hula? Yes. Hooky, 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 hooky. Everybody loves a hooky law. Where the lava is the cow cow, where the big blue are. We'll throw our nuts out into the sea. And Lord, oh my, oh my, come swimming to me. We are going. Can we handle another another phrase and then then we move on? I know you're like, oh, not again. <laughs> um, uh, so the, um, what a wonderful day for fishing, okay? And the old Hawaiian way, there are many versions to do that, but this is where you can do a little um, pelvic uh, circle. Yeah, on the floor, like on, on, well seated. So this is a, yeah, an old Hawaiian way. A beautiful day for fishing, and all the nets are swishing in old bay. And then it goes on the same thing. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's do it all together. It's fun. It's fun. And then, and then we'll do the name game. Don't forget to smile, it's a dance. <laughs> Everybody loves a hoopty Whatever you want, I guess. <laughs> and then as you end, this is the bow in hula. Yeah? Yeah? Awesome! Let's move on. Let's move on. Getting up from a seated position is not easy for many. And there are many ways to get up with strength and balance. It is important that you press on the big toe when standing and moving. Try to stand up while holding onto a stable structure like a desk a table, or a solid chair. While standing, feel the ground with your big toe, little toe, and heel. Pull in your belly, shoulder roll down, long neck and head floating up. Feel tall. You can do this exercise while seated. So what I want to do, let's, uh, again, use your feet. Make sure you're sitting up on your chair before you stand up. And then this is the um, rocking motion or the toe heel and then really push down on your toe when before getting up for those just so to get used to used to that uh, way yeah very nice yeah so when you're about to get up make sure you you can use this if you if this feels comfortable or here push down your feet as if you're pushing the floor away from you then that activates your legs, yeah? To really do, and push down on your toes, yeah? Okay, so very simple. We're gonna start with the plie. I think it's very important for, for you to understand what a plie is. A plie means to bend, yeah? But when you bend, and uh, we're gonna keep a little V, a little V. Again, we're talking about tripod, right? So we have the two toes, big toes pushing down, and your heels pressing against each other and down. So that's the stability, yeah? That's the stability, yeah? Again, there is a, um, uh, um, it, what happens when we're standing is we like to shift our weight to our heels and our toes somehow get lazy and they curl up. That happens as we become more mature. Yeah, and, and naturally for, for everyone. And I, I teach Pilates and that's something that, and I, and I got injured because I tend to do this. Somehow, I don't know what it is with our, with our shoes, but we tend to not, we stop free, we, we freeze our big toe and, and they are not active. So I would always now be aware when you're seated at home, just to reactivate that big toe of pushing down your big toe. And I am telling you, after three days of getting used to that feeling, you're rewiring that, it will help in your stability and in standing up, yeah? So, and I tell that all to my students, push down on your big toe, yeah? All my dance students. So, here now we are standing tall, standing tall, shoulders down, long neck, Spock ears are still being used. And that's the height, that's the height. See how it's much taller you are. Then we're going to plie, that means to bend. I know, crick crack, mine just crick crack. <laughs> and, then, and then stretch. And then again, plie and stretch. Once more, three times, plie and stretch. And then staying there, we're just gonna open your arms and then down, okay? So the plie, just so that you're aware, Think of your legs as spring, like a spring. So you don't want the spring to go to bend, 
to get up. So each one of you have a different range. Make it like it's a, like a shock absorber. So play it and up. So do you don't want to go bam. You see how static it is? Do you see the difference? Boom. That's very bad for your joint strength, but also it doesn't give you the control. So that you are very active in controlling it up and you're controlling it down. Does that make sense? So that when you're walking, your legs are not this solid piece, but they actually feel like they're like um, uh, springs. Yeah, that's a better imagery as you walk so that it, it's not a solid, so you can control that, yeah? So uh, we'll do that twice through, and there are three plies and out, so you get to balance without any support. But if you, by all means, if you need to do it just with one arm, do it with one arm. And then we're going to second position. This was first position, and this is second position, yeah? A second position plie and then stretch and plie three times three and plie and again again we're just just test your balance you good and out. and again when you are not leaving the floor when you're like have nothing to hold on think of really sending your feet through the center of the earth don't think that there are these things that are floating on the floor, but really root yourself as you're doing this. Push down that floor, really, so that that keeps your legs active. They're not just there. Does that make sense? And it's a really, it's a very subtle difference in thought, but that really helps people ground themselves, like as if you're pushing the floor away and that you're not just placing yourself on top of the floor, yeah? So we do that. And then just, uh, we're just going to lunge in one side so you feel what it's like to transfer your weight on one side and lunge on the other side. Just, just simple that way, yeah? And then we'll move on to the next thing. So let's just do that plie with a concentration on the bending with control and stretch with control like spring. So that your legs are springs. This is and stretch think of Spock ears and stretch nice now push down center of the earth standing tall again please spring like control standing tall nice and press Standing tall and open. Now bigger, plie. Make a bigger stance, plie. Nice. Again, and Spock ears and open. One last time and Spock ears. Nice. And take all your time. Make spring like. And hold. Now just lunge gently on one side. So feel what it's like to have your weight on one leg. Transfer to the other side. Weight on the other leg. Make sure your whole foot is on the floor. Press the foot down on the floor. Press down. Nice, and then just here, and down. Your feet together, again. Now we're going to up. Next, we will start exploring weight shifts. In addition, we will also explore one way to control your turning. So, tango. I know you've been waiting for this. So, <coughs> what we're going to be doing with this is the shift of weight. You just be aware of when you're on one leg and one leg. So, I want you to really feel that. Don't try not to look at me so that you're, but really feel, <coughs> am, is, my, is my weight on one leg 
or is my weight on the other leg, but not in between. Yeah, just this, so this is the exercise for this. So we're going to go shift, do our eight, shift two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have, um, yeah, okay. So just shift, shift, shift eight times. We're going to tap twice with our right hand, twice with our left, and then open up, chest open, and down. Let's try that part first. <laughs> I don't want to give too much. Uh, right away yeah um i actually forgot to ask was there any variation that you needed to do seated for the last one no yes no okay um okay so let's see ah. sorry all right and shift shift Again, one, and one, Last set and this other one. Okay, so that was just to try that part. So, moving on, we just did that. We're gonna start forward forward and back shift yeah so we just did this right and it's really about shifting your whole weight there now we're gonna go shift forward as if you're you can still hold and back forward and back and forward and back yeah forward and back do you remember that exercise the heel toe and toe heel guess what it's in here, right? That's why we are just broke it down, yeah? So, we're going to just step forward as if you're about to go somewhere and then back. Forward and back. Good. And forward and back. And forward and back. And then, sorry, sorry, the sixth time, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six and then place it together and then we'll start side to side yeah let me just try to get this so like we're going to start standing tall they just side to side now forward go slow and forward and back and forward and back and forward and back and side 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 and forward and back and forward and back and forward and forward i want to add another thing okay so we have side to side side to side and then forward this slows down because we are now this is a different different um direction yeah because we when we are going back we really don't know where we're going so i want you to go slow so that you are aware of the shift of weight then next thing we're going to go back to side to side but as you go side to side, 
look what happens. Slice of pie. What am I doing? Yeah? The, and don't rush it. Take your time. Take your time. So a good way of doing this when you're shifting your weight and turning around, think of like a sl like when you cut a pie. So, yeah, so you're going to, uh, or if I'm, you're facing this way, I'll just do it this way. We have, we have uh, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So, so just take it in small pieces. That's very, very important to understand when turning. Yeah? We want to start learning to turn that with your whole body and not with your feet first. We'll do that later. That's a more advanced. Or, <laughs> or you don't want to do that way. Yeah? But that is way super, super advanced. Come on. So we have to have some baby steps. What I want you to understand is that you can control your turn, but you have to know where you shift. So that if you don't want to turn today, that is fine. I just want you to, to just see, feel, feel that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, because then when you can, when we start doing this at some other later time with a partner, you cannot just swing them around, yeah? You have to, you have to like, well, that's where the mirroring, the mirroring uh, exercise works, yeah? So, and actually this is something we can do facing each other at the next part, okay? So, let's try this again. Um, let's try this again. And there's, if you need to slow down, that's okay. What I'm looking for is the weight shift. Weight shift. Weight shift. Yeah. Ready? Breathe first. And shift. Shift. Going forward. And back. And forward. And back, again, forward, and back, forward, and back. Now, side, side. Let's get it, and then just follow the clock. Be clear, there's no rush. You can take the whole song to turn around. I really don't mind. And if you're really super dance, you can go the other way if you want to. So we'll wait for everyone in here. Let's breathe again. We'll try that again. I saw many of you. One. Going forward and back. Forward, back. You're gonna go slow. I get it's tango. It just it, it, it's you 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 have control. As long as it's musical. Bum, bum. You can try the other way around. Again, little slices of pie. Dum. The music is beautiful, so take your time. There's no rush. <laughs> you turned already? Oh my goodness, you're so bad. <laughs> I'm really feeling the moment of this tango. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Nice, all right. Let's take our chairs off and we're gonna do a version. That's okay, we're gonna do a version seated and standing. Yeah, it's, this is, the next part is standing, but if you need to sit or you need the chair, by all means, let me know. Just, just stick around with it, yeah?
Mm. Okay, now this is it's a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. We're still talking about sh weight shift, yeah? But we are doing all things as you've done already. The only thing small is a small, small direction change, yeah? All right? So we are standing in here. We have toe, heel. Toe, we are not moving, heel. If you feel, if you, if your body feels like it's moving forward, by all means, go with it, yeah? You don't want to be stuck there. Then we have uh, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, step. Remember, this is that first shift of weight that we did in that tango, and now we'll bring it together. Step and together, which is also the kaholo, if we do a different rhythm. You see, it's all, it's all coming together, right? And then we have shift, 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 center, and step, together, step, together, step, Shift, 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 shift. And then we'll, then the next part, you could either stay in place, stay in place, or shift a little bit back. But you see how the, the change of direction is always a shift, yeah? It's not a push. You don't push yourself back. You are shifting your weight but slowly, even if half a centimeter, going back. That's all I'm asking. Is that, is that clear? Is that clear, the, 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 the technique? Yeah? Um, so let, let's do it once together without music. We're going to heel together, heel together, heel together, heel together, shift together, shift together, and shift shift, shift, and just stay here so this is ready now. Step, together, step, together, stay, ba, 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 and then shift, shift, make it small, make it like, like mini micro inch, yeah? But I want you to feel that moving back. So this is our first attempt in moving back and forth. That, that we, we skipped a few few um, steps in here, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I just want to make sure that is... Okay. So. Doing it all together. And toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, and shift. Together, let's take it slow. Shift together and shift, 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 and shift together. Shift together. Now shift. Let's take a few in place. Then slow, slow. Going back. Got it? Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Step, together, step. Yay. Next, at the center, we will add moves we did Seated. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, and step, together, step, together, shift, 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 and step, together, see this is even harder than, <laughs> and shift, 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 does that make sense? So that's what you can do. Now, again, different, different um, uh, um, range of motion. If you don't want to use your hand, if, you, if, if you, it's hard on your arms, easy. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Keep it small. Or you can toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Step, 
step. Shift, shift. You can make the range smaller. Da, 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 shift, 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 right? Another version with your elbows. You can do it with your elbows, right? The um, heel, heel, toe, heel, toe. So they're different. And this is where the assistant can have so much fun because they can do whatever version. <laughs> There's no right or wrong, and they, the instructor co continues with the standing version. Step together. So you see, you get to still be mobile and here. Then she may even do her own version of sway, sway, sway. Does that make sense? Yeah? So when you're doing it on your own and you don't, you're, you're, that day your arm feels kind of weak and you don't feel like doing that, then, 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 then make a smaller version. You can always make everything smaller or use a different part of your body. If you don't want, even if you, you can even do it but in place, just concentrating on this. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Make it smaller, but as long as you keep moving. The idea is not to stop for any excuse. <laughs> yeah? we, will, we will find a, a variation for you. Yeah? But even eyes, you can also do that. So, you know, give a different um, a movement for your body to do that will reflect what the others are doing standing. Yeah? If it's like close open close open look look you know they're, they're, it's a lot of fun and 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 it, there's no right or wrong right yeah there's really no right or wrong um and, and it's again that's where your creativity comes along and then the thing like hmm, wonder what i can do instead of moving my feet maybe i can like shake my head there so mm. <laughs> so mm. Mm. So, you know what I mean? You can do so many. The, 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 there's, the, there's so much creativity. You can do so much, yeah? So I don't want you to feel that just because you cannot stand or do what the others are doing, I'm on vacation. No. <laughs> yeah? There are different ways of doing things. You can even do it with finger. The boop, boop, boop. Or heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. That's, that takes a lot of small, small motor skills, right? so don't forget. All of this is valid as long as you move. Yeah? That's very, very important. Yeah? I can even go different various body parts, but I'm going to do that in this class. <laughs> you get a rib. Rib. Yeah, it's, it's so fascinating because that's when we people, when people think dance, oh, I don't dance. You are dancing every day. You're just not, not realizing that all the movements that you do can be part of dance, yeah? Uh, in culinary, the, it's a choreography in, in the kitchen. The kitchen. It's all movement, but smaller. We are not, you know, or you run around to the oven, you know? The, so that's the, so, okay. Um, last but not least, Let's do a, uh, a little bit of, I know you're, you're, you're hungry, um, uh, a little, 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 ah, you're going to get up. So when you're getting up again, feel the floor. Push that floor away from you. Use either pushing your hand that way or here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> you want to, again, Go forward over the, push down your big toe. Push down your big toe. Yes, big toe. It's a very, so just a very, yes, big toe. So that's something I want you all to practice the next few days. Pushing down the big toe. Put, even when you're standing, <coughs> waiting the grocery, be aware of your big toe pushing down because that will fire many different things on your legs. We are almost at the end. So we will create a circle and combine facial expressions, character, focus, and performing with each other. The music is from the musical West Side Story about two rival gangs to create a character. 
Let's be in a big circle. And this is from West Side Story. We're gonna go big. Be like, very like big, really scary. Yeah, that kind of a movement, yeah? And then you have explosions. So you'll hear it in the, in the thing. We go, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, okay? Let's, let's hear it. I know it kind of feels weird if I'm not singing it, but I'm not a singer. Okay, let's see. Eh. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Actually, yeah. Let's now shift your weight first and slowly, ever so slowly, micro inch going back. Micro inch going back as your, yeah? So that we open up the circle. All right, let's get ready for this. Let's see if we can do this. Pointing and then slapping. And one, two, three. If you want to snap your fingers, again. Snap. Get all the uh, oh, it's too early. Ready? People be very weird and good. Ah, okay. Um, need to do that again once more for I want to see more visual, visual connection on that and and be fierce. Huh? You have to get me scared. So give me some really like this is, I don't know if you've seen West Side Story. Yeah, the two gangs. So you have to be really, I know, Matapang, is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, and then when you walk really, really like, ah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. I'm going to, ah, and then, and then be, look scared. Look, 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 bang it and like big, that like, ah. Yeah, you have to like scare them. Ah, I'm getting this monster. And then down, okay? Let's uh, yes. Oh, 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 yes, uh, yes, yes. And then we'll do the passing the pulse, okay? Uh, ee, let's see. Uh, where are we? Okay. Ready? Facial. Good, better. Be really scary faces. <laughs> and ready. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nice big ending pose. Pose, 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 picture, 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 picture. All right. We will end our dance session with a spark circle, where the spark is passed to one another to acknowledge each other's presence and express gratitude for the time together. Let's hold hand, we'll do the passing of the pulse. Okay, so this passing the pulse, this is the way we end class.
yeah? And it's to acknowledge everyone's participation. You can hold hands. No, no, no. Okay, okay. 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 That's when make sure your homework. Yeah, your big toe, huh? Big toe. That's very. I could already see it. There. I could already see from everyone the, the big toe. Yeah, some of you are already activating, and it will be such a big difference. Let me tell you. Yeah, big toe. I know it feels weird because nobody ever tells you that. But um, if you just say, tell your brain, okay, I have to push the big toe to the center of the earth, like, you know, make a hole with the, in, in the earth, then it will, it will activate, exaggerate it. Okay, so passing the pulse, what happens when I start, I will start it. What it is, is that you're going to, I'm going to look at my partner to my right. I'm going to give a little squeeze, that's in the masaket, huh? Little squeeze to acknowledge. She's going to pass that to the next person. So and you to the next person. Okay, so wait until they look at you in a man and then smile, like, not that, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a moment to really acknowledge everyone who has participated, that they were here, and we're thanked for their energy and for their participation, yeah? So let me just put music. Uh, it can be any kind of lovely music that you like. Oh, I'll try this one. This I haven't used this one. This is a beautiful one. This is Lehua Beauty. Lehua is a flower in a big island. Again, let's breathe together. Thank you. Give yourself an applause.